This is so cool. And this is a very special place for me and for my photography because it was here at Cottonwood Canyon that I fell in love with black and white photography many years ago. And as you might know, there was no going back from there. Here we have to go back to almost exactly seven years ago today. At that time I was living in Portland, three hours away from uh, here, and I decided to come to the high desert for a weekend to disconnect. You see, I wasn't going through a good time with my photography then. I had picked up a camera just two or three years earlier and I traveled all across the West taking photographs that resemble those that I was seeing online. I was following a trend. I wasn't able to make my photos my own because I didn't even know how. So even though it was a lot of fun at the beginning, little by little I was getting less and less excited about photography. Mind you, I had experimented with black and white here and there, but it was always an afterthought. Color was first and only if the day or the light were dual only if the color photograph didn't work i would try to convert it to black and white trying to save the picture that was until that weekend here in the desert because for whatever reason i decided to set my old and trusty a6000 to black and white for the first time ever and that means that what i was seeing through the viewfinder and the screen were monochrome images so the photographs were black and white from the time of inception from the very beginning and what a revelation that was it isn't that all of a sudden i started to take better pictures it was more profound than that my camera wasn't a capturing device anymore it was a window a window to a world that I had never seen before. I know that it might sound a little bit weird, but that's how it felt. That's how it still feels today. Every time I look through this viewfinder, I get to see things that are not there. It's almost like an alternate universe. I don't know, it's like those uh, thermal glasses or whatever the name is and night vision goggles or like infrared photography. You see, it's a world that it's there, but you don't get to see it with your own eyes. It is only through the camera that I got to see that world for the first time. That weekend was a blast. I was proud of most of the images that I had made and one of them actually made it to the cover. It was the cover photo of my second book, Becoming an American. It's a photo that I still like today. When I look at those images now from the perspective of today, I see my origins. I see where I come from and all I've been through to get to where I am today. And where I am today is just another step in this whole lifetime journey that I am in, in this adventure called photography that I love so much. What I loved about black and white photography back then, it's still what I love about it today. Black and white lets me have a scene in what the world looks like. Without the colors, I can manipulate reality more easily so I can trick you into seeing things that weren't that clear in the real world. I can play with the negative or the raw file to the point where color would start falling apart. Black and white is much more forgiving. For most, photography is a way to capture reality, to document their lives, to remember events, faces, places. And surely I do that too. I use my phone for that to immortalize those moments that I don't want to forget. My other photography though is less about capturing the truth about the world and more about creating my own truth. Not about what things really are, but about how I see them or how I wish they were. And there's where black and white gives me the license to be myself, to express myself, to create the art that I want to make. I also love how black and white images don't provide you with all the information. The lack of color makes you engage with the photographs more because your brain is not used to see the world that way. So it has to fill up the gaps. The images are not facts that I bring you from the field, like, look, this is what the sunset look like tonight. They are pieces open to interpretation, mine and yours. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit too carried away, but that is because black and white photography makes me feel this way. And for that, I will always be thankful to this place called 
the Cottonwood Canyon, the place that opened my mind and literally changed my life. If you haven't yet, please do yourself a favor and set your camera to black and white. Give it a try because it might change the way you see the world too. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.